Champions League draw will take place. Chelsea is getting closer to Havertz. Messi can fire Barca's coach and president. Manchester United is near the Champions League spot. A 16-year-old schoolboy has already conquered the world. Hello everyone! Do you see how many events happen? So what are you waiting for? An invitation on our channel? Here it is! Guys, subscribe if you love football! We have the most important and reliable news! Guys, what Champions League quarter final players would you like to see? Write in the comments below! Please press like and let's get started! You did that, didn't you? Great! The 8th Finals Champions League second leg games and 6 Europa League games will take place at home team stadiums. There will be no spectaculars. Today a Champions League quarter finals and semi-finals draw will take place. It will be very interesting. Messi can say, Barca needs a new president and coach. Leo has a red button, but he doesn't press it. Informs The Athletic. Rudiger assures Havertz to join Chelsea. He did the same thing with Werner. Man United is the first EPL team to win four games in a row with a handicap of three goals. Are the Red Devils coming back? Raphael van der Waard critiqued the game of Man United's centre-back Harry Maguire. I think that Maguire comes home every day and tells his wife, I screwed up, but they still pay me a lot. They really believe I'm good. A new Liga 1 season starts at 22-23 of August. PSG will start to defend the title with a match against Mets. No player in the history of EPL could make 13 resultative actions in first 10 games. Bruno Fernandes scored 7 goals and assisted 6 times, setting the league's new record. Vinicius' first test on coronavirus shown a deviation from normal this week. Then the Brazilian did the test again, and it had negative result. Real felt a relief. Man United kicked 13 penalties in EPL season, repeating the record of the tournament. Paul Pogba scored a goal in Aston Villa's net. That's the first goal of the French for United since April 2019. Welcome back, Paul. Real got almost 250 million euros from selling players of their academy for the last four years. Havertz wants to go to Chelsea, he likes the project. Werner assures him to join the team. Van Persie named the probable winners of Ballon d'Or. He thinks it's Lewandowski, De Bruyne and Mane. Man City made 93.7% precise passes in the match against Newcastle. That's league's record. Oliver Birkov shared his thoughts about the future of Kai Havertz. He is the player for Real. Havertz is a young footballer who has everything – a great talent, technique, good physics. Barca won the lawsuit against Santos in Neymar's case. The Brazilians wanted more than 61 million euros. Talking about VAR, Barca tries to distract attention from the club's real problems. Barca's ex-footballer, the legendary Rivaldo, announced. Pellegrini is at the head of Betis. Real and Man City's ex-coach contract is until 2023. Cesc Fabregas named the best player he played with. As for me, Messi is the best. He always wants to win. De Gea beat Schmeichel and set new Man United record for the number of games among foreigners. The Spanish played in 399 games for Red Devils. Yesterday some league matches took place. The results are on your screens. And now let's get through the main events of yesterday's matches. Tottenham couldn't beat Bournemouth, play the boring draw 0-0. The Spurs are in ninth place, risking to be out of European Cups. José, what are you doing? I sleep perfect. <laughs> Mourinho's former team, Manchester United, vice versa, shows astonishing result. The Red Devils easily beat Aston Villa 0-3. Bruno Fernandes scored from a penalty kick. Also, Greenwood and Pogba scored. United have shortened the gap between Leicester to one point. The Champions League is getting closer. In La Liga, we can notice an away win of Sevilla against Athletic. 1-2. Banega and Munir goals practically guaranteed teams' participation in Champions League next season.
In Serie A, Inter loses points again, this time against Verona, 2-2. Lazovic scored, Kondrava responded, then it was DiMarco's own goal and Veloso saved the host. And now let's meet a 16-year-old Danish talent, Yapakia from Horsens. This guy put his name in the history already, scoring a goal in Hobro's net. Yepa became the youngest striker in the history of Danish championship. We love those stories. A 16-year-old kid enters the pitch and starts to shine. We've picked up for you some other great skills of this guy, so you will remember his name. Yepak Yair. Yepak Yair is a schoolboy from Denmark who shocked the football world and who's been called a local Messi. Way to go! Watch suggested videos and stay with us! It was Football News. Have a nice mood. Bye-bye.